Hi guys, welcome to another Oakley Pause video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the slash set block command and the slash fill command. Let me know if you guys want me to make this into a series. Okay, first off, if this is a pre-existing world, you're going to want to click on the pencil. If you're making a new world, you'll get these options anyway. I would recommend setting the world creative because in survival you can't use command blocks. You can still do slash commands in chat though. Now something else that would be helpful is just to turn on show coordinates. You can actually see the cords you're at. And then this is the most important step. Make sure you have activate cheats on. Okay, now when you're in your world, you're just going to go to the chat and do slash give. And then I tend to do at s, but you can type in your username. And you can see all the options on the left. At s space command underscore block. And this is if you're going to do those commands in a command block. You could also just do the slash and then do the command in chat. Now, if you're using a keyboard, you're just going to hit enter. If you're on console, you're going to click X. If you're on PE, you press like the enter button too. Now, the command block appeared in my inventory because I already had one. Now, first, we're going to do the set block command. Now, if you notice, I was standing at 169 for 171. So, you're going to go and check. You're going to do slash set block space and then type whatever chords you want to put it at. You'll notice when you hit enter, nothing will happen because you still have to select a block that's going to go in that space that you've selected. Set block is basically just if you want to put down one singular block. And so I have those chords because that's where I'm currently at. And I'm just going to make the block grass. And now you can see in the targeted area, instead of it being air, is now grass. Now I can change the block to any block that's in the game. It doesn't have to be grass. And as you can see, I just chose sand in the exact same spot. This time I'll do an anvil. I hope that helps you kind of understand how set block works. Now we're going to go on to fill. Now slash fill is pretty similar, but unlike slash set block, instead of it doing a singular block, you're actually going to have to do multiple coordinates because slash fill focuses on an area of blocks other than just one singular block. Now you're going to start your command with just slash fill in chat. And as you can see, with just one chord in there, it doesn't actually work. You actually have to select two chords because it's making an area. So that first chords is where the anvil's at, and the second chords are where I'm currently at. Of course, they'll be different for you depending on where you are in your world. And I'm just going to make this area sand. And as you can see, it made an area of sand from that anvil to where I was. Now you can be anywhere in this world for this command to work. And like the other one, you can use any block in the game you can fill the area with. As you can see, I'll switch it from TNT to stone. Now let's say you don't want it like a flat square. You can just use the slash fill command. You can just place like, if you go up a Y coordinate, then you can actually make it higher. As you see, I'm going to change the 4 and the Y coordinate to a 5. And now it's two layers thick. One thing to note about the slash fill command though, it has like a max of like 32,000 blocks it can fill at most. So hopefully this will help you out. But there's basically three directions that you can go in Minecraft with an X, Y, and Z value. Now the order they're in right now is the exact same as the numbers in the top left corner of your screen is. You'll notice when I walk across the red line, my X value changes because this is the X axis. And then if I go up and down, my Y value changes because this is the Y axis. And then finally, when you walk across the blue line, your Z value changes because the Z axis. Now, basically, when you're making a box, you want the far corners is basically what this is basing off of. It's going to try to keep the X values in the two lines. That's why it goes out like that. It's going to keep the Y values and the Z values. Okay, now let's go to command blocks. It's a pretty similar process. Now let's say we want to do the slash set block command, but we want to put it here, right next to the command block. And we're just going to remember the coordinates and open up the command block and basically do what we do in chat. Slash set block and then just type in the chords that you want to do it. So basically where you want the block to be placed at. And then choose the block. In this case, I want it to be sand. Now, just an impulse command block needs power, so I'm just going to put a button on it to show you. As you can see, it's pretty similar to what you're doing in chat. Just now, you just press a button and do it while you type it into the command block. Something that might be helpful to you that you don't really have to do, but you can remove the slash at the start of a command if you're doing it in a command block. And 
And now if I change it to anvil, you'll see the command will still work. Or I can select anything, so if I just select TNT, it'll still work. You don't really need the slash if you're doing it in a command block. One helpful thing is, if you're actually trying to remove the block there, all you do is just put air at the end. Now if you're going to use the command block to do slash fill, it's very similar. Right now I'm marking down the two spots that I want to actually put as the cords for this block. This is optional, but I do recommend doing it because it can help you just start memorizing where these spots are. So you know what spots you have and haven't done yet. So now you can just do slash fill and then the coordinate of the first spot you want to put. And then the coordinate of the second spot. I'm just going back there to make sure that I got the cords right. And then you just select where you want there to be in that area. And as you can see when I press the button, stone went in that area because I selected stone. Of course you can still select whatever you want. And since this is in a command block, you can remove the slash at the start of the command. Just remember to keep the slash if you're typing in chat, because if you don't, it'll think that you're just typing in chat. You'll notice if I forget the slash at the start of the command when I type it in chat, it'll show in chat that I said that, but it won't actually do the command because it doesn't think of it as a command. As you can see in chat, it says that I said fill and then the coordinates sand. It didn't do anything though. A few more things to note though is that if you're doing a block with gravity such as anvil, sand, gravel, concrete powder, they will still fall if they're above air. Some blocks have different names than their in-game names, such as block of redstone in the command is actually redstone underscore block. If you can't figure out why a certain block isn't working, you probably can just go online and look up uh, some block names for commands. I hope this video helped with the slash fill and slash set block commands. Let me know in the comment section if you guys want me to make this into a series just teaching you guys some of the commands. On the left is my latest upload. And on the right you can find my last video where I actually was making a 7x7 calculator using redstone.